day in the life of a computer science student. Uh, I go to University of New Haven, and I'm a commuter. Obviously, I'm living at home. You can see that. Uh, just made a bagel and got some water. Uh, I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to go get ready and leave for school. I got three classes today out of my uh, total five classes plus one lab. I have a computer organization lab, which is uh, just a class that we do uh, little Arduino labs in for uh, computer organization. And uh, I'll show you one of the labs that I had to do for class today. And then the other class that I have is computer organization where you're learning about like how cache works and how memory works and how the computer actually functions with uh, those things. And then my other class is my algorithms class where we learn various algorithms like, uh, like quicksort and red black trees and bee trees and various other algorithms like how zip works and stuff like that and so yeah uh once i finish eating and once i get ready i'll take you guys in the car and i'll t talk a little bit and i'll show you throughout my day this is the day in the life of a computer science student <laughs> Now, I am just gonna grab a jacket because it's kind of cold out today. It's like 30 degrees. I'm gonna wear a North Face. I don't know why the lighting is so bad over there. So, excuse my old clothes from when I showered. So, I am just gonna head out now. It's about 11.40. I gotta be at class at 12.15, so I should make it on time. Uh, this is the last week of classes before finals, and it's kinda hectic with uh, projects and stuff, but I should be all right. So, time to head out. So it's currently 12 o'clock. I'm on my drive to UNH. It's about a 20 to 25 minute drive from my house. Um, I'm already like halfway there, so it's not going to be that long. I'll probably get there at 12.10, and uh, my class starts at 12.15. This is my last lab of the semester for this class, so we're probably just going to go over uh, this lab that we just had for homework, and uh, we're going to show it to him, and hopefully it doesn't break on the way here because I didn't take a video of it yet, but uh, I'll show you guys what it does at uh, UNH. And then after that, we'll probably get out early, so I'm probably gonna go get food. And then after that, I'll go to my last two classes, and that's it. This is my last full week of classes, and then I start finals, so this is really like the last week for all my projects and everything, although some of them are due on the day of the final, which is nice. I get some extra time to work on them. But yeah, I will showcase you guys UNH when I get there. God, the lighting here is awful. So I just got to UNH, it's 12.08, two minutes early. Um, my class is right over there, right in, you can't really see it, but there's a building over there. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna walk into that class and I'll show you guys what my Arduino lab is supposed to do. And then I'll go through the class. Bob, you know, Lisa, we're gonna do 9600. Just got out of that lab. Uh, we have one more lab to do with this where we have to use an LCD screen to display stuff. And we have to like make pictures and display those pictures and cycle through with buttons on what picture displays in the LED. But uh, that class is over, it ended a little bit early and it, it usually ends at 1.30 but it's around uh, one o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go get something to eat. And yeah, I'm probably gonna go to McDonald's cause it's right down the corner. And yeah, I'll take you guys for a little walk around the campus while I do that.
so now I'm on my way to computer organization. It's pretty cold outside. Uh, last time we learned about cache memory, so I think we're going to continue off with that. But uh, yeah, I'm just on my way walking to class. And after that I have algorithms in the same classroom, so I'm going to stay in the same spot and I'll just show you guys a little bit of the lectures throughout there. And yeah. <laughs> Just finished my freezing cold walk back to my car from my last class. Uh, today was a pretty easy day, I only had three classes. And as I sit here freezing in my car waiting for it to warm up, uh, it's around 4.27, I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. And uh, now I'm gonna go home and start my homework, probably. Most likely if I don't procrastinate. I wanna start working on an essay that I have to work on for my computer ethics class, which is just a class that we do like current event issues in on computer science topics and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna finish the lab for my class today because I guess I forgot to do one part that I had to do. And uh, they're all due at the end of the semester before the final day of the actual lecture class exam. So as long as I show it to him before then, I'll get full credit. And then I'm probably gonna take that apart and then do the second lab, start that, so at least I have like the hardware components done so that I can just write the program. And that should be it for my homework for today. I still have a poster and a presentation that I have to make for December 17th. So I'll probably do that tomorrow though because I don't really have to worry about it today. And yeah, that'll be the rest of my day. I'll show you guys the homework that I do and yeah, I'm gonna go home now. So it's now 6.50, almost seven o'clock. I just finished the intro of my essay and the first paragraph. And my essay is about uh, the Takata, I think it's pronounced, airbag recall, which was this huge airbag recall that happened in a bunch of uh, different brands of vehicles, and we're specifically talking about the ones that happened in the Toyota vehicles, because that's what our main essay is on for our project, and so I was in charge of talking about that, and basically it was this huge recall that happened because the airbags would had a potential to explode and send shrapnel through the passenger side and the driver's side. So yeah, it's it's pretty bad. And uh, right now I'm currently working on my uh, lab and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm almost done. I just gotta work out and make sure all these cases that I made work. The code's kinda ugly, not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, once I'm finished with that, I'll show you guys. I should be done within the next like 10 minutes. All right, so it's currently 7.12. Just finished uh, all the last parts for my lab. This is all the code for it. And so what the lab is supposed to do is if we hit upload and we open up this little uh, console here. Uh, we have a joystick. You guys might not be able to see it, but there's the joystick right there. And we obviously have the LED that's so super bright that you guys can only see. And uh, basically when you move this joystick, if I were to move it down, uh, you can't really see the red LED, but there's a red LED in there. Uh, you can actually see it, and if you were to move this joystick down, it would turn off the red LED, and if you were to move it this way, it would turn off the blue LED, and if you were to move it so that it's in the bottom, like, right corner, or left corner, it would turn off all the whole LED. And it's hard for you to tell, but if I turn it up, it'll change the brightness of one of the LEDs brighter, and if I turn this to the right all the way, it'll turn the other LED brighter. But uh, so yeah, that was my lab. And also it prints out the X and Y value of everything. So let me turn this, take this off. 
all right, so I'm kind of stupid, and I forgot that if I uh, turn the LED, or if I unplug it, it's going to turn off the serial monitor because there's nothing getting monitored anymore because the Arduino is not plugged in. But anyways, what the, the lab was was you have a joystick, which is this little component right here, and if you were to move the joystick, uh, look at the joystick as a coordinate plane, uh, you would have your X values and you would have your Y values. And the Y values were set to red, and the X values were set to blue. So if I were to move in the negative X direction, that would make it so that the red or the blue LED was all the way as dark as possible, which was turning off is what I set it to. And then if it was in the middle, it was like in the middle brightness. And then if it went all the way to the left, it would turn to the leftmost brightness or the, the highest bright brightness. And uh, same thing would happen with the uh, red LED for the Y axis. And so if you were to put it in the bottom corner so that both ne uh, were the highest negative value, it would turn it off, which you guys saw. And you couldn't really see it turning brighter, but that was just because the camera was really hard to tell. And so that was the lab. And the other part, which was the serial monitor, which I was talking about, was the values for the joystick go from 0 to 1024. So 512 being the middle value, uh, which would be if the joystick was just at rest, where it stays in the middle. And what we had to do was we had to group these values uh, and we had to come up with the middle value equaling zero and the farthest left value or the farthest negative value, which would be zero in the zero to 1024 scheme, uh, it would be negative two. And then some increment between those two would be negative one and then positive one and then positive two for the X axis. And then you had to do it again for the right axis. And uh, basically what I did was I just, I took 512, which was the middle value, and I made that the, the starting joystick spot. So that would be the LED would be on the medium brightness, and uh, the number would print out zero to the, the serial output, which is just like the console, and if you were to program in C or whatever. And then if you were to go a little bit between those, like if the joystick was like between as far as it can go and uh, the middle point, it would print out negative one. And then obviously if it goes as far to the right as possible, it would be negative two. And there was a, there was like a 200 value uh, thing that I did. So like zero to 255 would be the negative two value. And then 256 to like 511 would be the negative one value. If you guys understand what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for me now. I think I'm going to go eat because it's uh, 717 at night. And then after that, I'm probably just going to chill. So I'll probably play some video games with my friends or uh, watch YouTube or maybe watch a season of Rick and Morty. Or not a season, but an episode. Uh, I don't think there was a new one that came out, though. So that's pretty much the rest of my night. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been the life of a computer science student. Uh, I am a commuter, so I don't really do that much on campus. It's not like I can't do a lot of things on campus. I just kind of choose not to just because I just go there for school. And then I come home, do my work, and uh, hang out with my friends that don't go to the school that I go to. And so, yeah, that's the day in my life as a computer science student at University of New Haven. Hope you guys enjoy it, and subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but I post some videos occasionally, some vlogs, and figured I might do this for fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.